just looking our way around the actual iron itself and, and the kit, we have um, our gas filler up this end down here. And up the other end we have the, the switch that switches the actual gas on and off again. And on the other side you've got your PZO igniter, all right, which just sends a little high voltage spark um, <clears throat> across there and ignites the gas. And then inside, the other ones have just, they just pump the gas out and ignites the gas and it's very hard to see the flame. But these have got a, um, what you call a little catalyst inside and the catalyst ignites and heats up and you can see it. If you look in the bottom window down there, you can actually see it glowing and that's a real advantage. This one here is probably regulated at around about a power or wattage of around about 15 watts and that's good for doing circuit boards and that sort of thing. But if you want more heat of course then you have to go up to a larger soldering iron around about your 25 to 30 watts mm. and that's for terminal soldering and that sort of thing. Um, whereas that one would be too light. Now, with this here, um, that's capable of uh, up to you ran about 25 to 30 watts, but you, how you regulate it, of course, is on the amount of heat that you're putting through it. So you can turn it down for the lower power, or you can turn it up for the higher power. Mm.